Welcome back to the next instalment of 10 for 10. This is a series from Watch Gecko that sets out to inform you, the viewer, of 10 watches branching over 10 different categories that combined offer an extremely versatile, enjoyable and rounded collection. Altogether, coming in at a value less than £10,000. Some watches may be more expensive, some may be extremely affordable, but altogether they will collectively cost less than £10,000. Stay tuned to the channel for regular new episodes, as well as the Watch Gecko blog for further coverage of each watch featured. Links will be in the description below. Up until now, we have focused purely on new watches that are readily available online. However, for episode 4, I think it's time we have a look at something completely different. Vintage watches have been increasing in popularity year on year. You only need to look at popular examples from Rolex, such as the Paul Newman Daytona or the 5513 Submariner, to know that these models have increased in value massively. Unfortunately, the above two references are now more than £10,000, so can't make an appearance in this series. However, there is a watch which equally has similar charm and history. Caravelle was introduced in 1962 as a way for popular watch manufacturer Belova to create and offer consumers a wider range of watches at a lower price point. Commonly priced around $10 to $30, Caravelle was Belova's more affordable lineup, and a way for them to produce models for the market without potentially harming or devaluing the Belova name. Think of Belova as Rolex and Caravelle as Tudor. Fast forward a few years to 1968 and Caravelle had cracked the US, becoming the largest selling jeweled movement watch. This exact model we have here is called the Caravelle Sea Hunter. As expected with older watches, the Caravelle comes in smaller than our modern interpretation of divers, with a case width of 36.5mm, a lug to lug distance of 44mm and a thickness just around the 11mm mark. As vintage watches go, these dimensions are actually very wearable on modern wrists, closely resembling the Datejust and Explorer from Rolex. Much like the cases on Rolex watches, the Caravelle hugs the wrist remarkably well, with the case back disappearing into the wrist and hiding a good chunk of its 11mm thickness. A profile view of the case also reveals its gradual curve towards the end of the lugs, another great little feature of the Caravelle that really assists the watch's wearability. Originally, the watch came with a diving rotating bezel, However, this specific model was a fully faded out one. I'll explain why it isn't fitted with that later. The watch featured an acrylic crystal, universally accepted as standard for watches of this age. And looking through that acrylic crystal, you'll notice the watch's uncluttered, simple, balanced style layout. Just the simple 3, 6, 9 and 12, along with short indices and the minimal obligatory branding slash water resistance rating, graces the dial. Some may say this dial configuration is boring but in reality it's far from it. The flat matte dial texture reminds the wearer of the watch's practical tool watch past. The watch also has simple, clean stick hands keeping track of the time with varying amounts of ageing per watch. The hands are subtly curved down from the middle, inviting light to bounce off the hands at different angles. The watch is, well, was, water resistant to 666 feet, which is approximately 200 metres. This is a very practical and usable depth for a diving watch, However, I would advise your Caraval admires the water from a distance, as time will have not been kind on the internal rubbers and seals, not guaranteeing the watch's water resistance at all. With that 666 rating on the dial, you can really see where the nickname Devil Diver comes from. So, how does the watch wear? Well, with all those impressive stats, it should come as no surprise that Caraval wears brilliantly on the wrist. The watch's pure, no-frills design means it has versatility in abundance. Throw it on a metal strap, and you retain the watch's purposeful past. Alternatively, swap it out for a quality leather strap and allow your caraval to retire in daily comfort and class. For a watch which was a part of a budget or value line, it really does punch above its weight. The watch is in a bulky piece and can adapt quickly to different situations you may be wearing it in. One key, almost unexplainable feature of vintage watches is their charm. Vintage watches just have something about them. The fact that you can have two exact models next to each other and they can easily be vastly different is pretty special. The watch flies under the radar once on the wrist, avoiding any unwanted attention. All of this sounds very similar to a popular watch from Mr. Wilsdorf. A lot of the reasons why this watch works so well, I believe, is down to its uncanny resemblance to the 1016 Explorer from Rolex. This particular reference was produced from the 50s to the 80s, making it one of the longest reference numbers with a Rolex crown to come out of Switzerland. Naturally, being vintage, the cost of devil divers can vary depending on condition. The example we see here costs around £200 without a strap and a fully faded bezel. That decision to take off the bezel was to really emphasise the watch's similarity to the 1016 Explorer. With such a similar design to the iconic Rolex 1016, 
everything all starts to make sense as to why the Caravelle is a standout option as a vintage watch. Let's take a look at a few strap options. The Butterfly Solid 5-Link D Profile by Kokota. This is a look I immediately wanted to put together when getting my hands on the Caravelle. It really further advances on the watch's bare bones and purposeful design. And when fitted to the watch, we've used the standard curved ends available on the site, fitting the Caravelle extremely well. The Painswick QR Distressed Brown by Gakota. One of our most popular newest additions to our range, the Painswick QR is a great strap for the Caravelle. Firstly, the strap has a distressed texture, which really works to emphasise the watch's tool watch origins. Next, the strap is around 2.2mm thick, meaning for thinner watches this is a perfect option. And finally, quick release spring bars means you can easily switch up the strap without tools. For the Caravelle I went for the distressed brown, adding a nice level of warmth to the piece. The Cebu Pastel Soft Top Grain in Black by Gakota. If you're subscribed to the channel, you'll have seen in the past we tend to suggest brown straps, however black straps are equally as great for changing the look of your watch. Here this soft top grain strap gives the Caravelle an extremely classic look. Its use of top grain leather means it's incredibly soft to touch and perfectly comfortable instantly. As you may imagine, Belova and Caravelle didn't just create this one model under the Sea Hunter name. There are many examples which range from chunkier cases, the use of bright coloured seconds hands, integrated bracelets and white dials. Let's take a quick look at what else is available. The example we have here has a case width around 34.5mm, a lug to lug of 41mm and a thickness still around the 11mm mark. The 6, 9 and 12 remains on the dial, however a date window replaces the 3. We see slimmer hour markers, longer seconds track and a lovely black bezel, which over the years has turned a royal blue in certain light. Probably the most prominent difference on this watch is those hands. Commonly seen on watches such as the Longines Heritage Skin Diver, these heat blue hands combine an almost broad arrow hand with a gradually pointed minute hand. All of these core features sit on top of a deep gloss black dial, rather than the matte dial we looked at previously. This example was also powered by a Swiss automatic movement, rather than the manual wine Japanese choice for the main attraction. As you can see, this results in a vastly different watch when you bring the two Devil Divers together. And, just to prove how much I truly enjoy these watches, they both sit proudly in my personal watch box. So, why should you be adding vintage watches to your collection? Firstly, the history these watches hold cannot be truly replicated. That unexplainable charm we mentioned earlier is truly unique to vintage watches, and best told through wear and patina. The feeling that these watches have lived a life before your ownership is quite intoxicating when you explore the world of vintage. And of course, the Caraval Devil Diver in particular offers charm, wearability, universal style and timeless design, all in a watch that can be had between £200 and £1,000. With the watch's visible rise in popularity over the past 12 months, I'd advise you pick one up as soon as you can. Stay tuned to the channel for the next episode of 10 for 10, where we explore another great watch that is perfect in creating a well-rounded collection.